Welcome everybody to behind the scenes of Inside Investigations. And uh, if you're watching now, you must have really liked this story and, and we enjoyed producing it. Cabinet Crook, Senior Investigative Producer Marnie Zambri, uh, Mark Tarnasano. Mark Tarnasano. So I remember it was probably two summers ago that I got um, a call and got messages from somebody that said, hey, this guy took my money and um, he took my cabinets and he's never come back. And that person was Yvonne, Yvonne. Mm -hmm. the very animated woman that was in our story. And so I started looking into um, this business and saw several reviews that were negative about him. And, and they're all saying the same thing, that this guy took the money and he did not return to do the cabinetry work. So um, we went out and we interviewed Yvonne, we interviewed George. Um, George. Um, I spoke to another family that didn't want to be on camera and two more people that didn't want to be on camera. But um, before we were going, we tried to call Tarnasanu, Mark, um, to try to get him to talk to us, to tell his side of the story, and he wasn't returning our calls. So um, the day before we were going to go up there, I happened to be up where his wood shop was, and I wanted to go and take a look at it so I knew what we were getting into if we went to confront him because he hadn't returned our calls. And I was there, and guess who's there? Mark Tarnasanu. And I said, oh my God, this might be the only time that I get him. So I whipped out my cell phone and started asking him questions. And as you can see, he's pretty um, arrogant and pretty much, he's, he's not a runner. He's a talker. He's a talker. And he wanted to talk his way out of it. But um, as we soon found, after I did that interview um, and we helped George Silvers do the police report, I think he clued in that he's he's in trouble. The gig is up. Yeah, so this is another example of the ripoff range. Uh, whether you stumble into it or you uh, methodically figure it out, Mark Tarnasanu was taking jobs from people all over the place, not delivering a final product, not even lifting a finger to do the job in some cases, and just getting away with it. Well, he was, again, stealing from Peter to pay Paul. He had these big projects that he was doing. He needed to fund them. So he would take these little projects, get their money so he could do the big projects. Yeah. Do you think that he was doing this intentionally? <laughs> For sure he was. And the real twist in it came to us. Not only did we see this pattern here, but after um, we aired it once on Facebook, I got a call from somebody saying that they were his cousin, they were in Texas, and their cousin Mark had just come to Texas to open up another artisan woodworking business there in the state of Texas. They had gone and got a business license. Um, he was working with his cousin. He had asked his cousin for some money so that he could get things started up. And the cousin realized, wait a second, I just saw this piece about him, and he did the exact thing to me. And what in fact happened was um, we had brokered a deal between him, between Mark Tarnasanu and George Silvers, that he was going to pay George Silvers back for the, the money he and took. And how were we able to broker that? Because we were able to tell him that the cops Roswell looking, Police Department was yeah. actually on site when Mr. Tarnasanu had to turn over the cash to Mr. Silvers. Okay. So you'll see in that piece, he's turning over the cash, and I, and I know that we mentioned it at the end. That was not, we believe that was not his money to be giving. We believe that was the cousin's money. From Texas. From Texas. And since then, since we've aired this not only on Facebook and on Trustdale Investigates, We've heard from Mark Tarnasanu again asking us to remove this story because it was hurting his business. And he said that he has made it right with all these people. So we do our due diligence. We call all the people. We, we call um, Yvonne, Yvonne again. I called the two families that um, wouldn't go on camera with us. I called the, um, the other woodworker in there and sure enough, he hadn't made good. So that's how we were able to go ahead and share this story on Inside Investigations. Yes. Yeah, so if you know someone that's operating in the ripoff range, that's what we specialize in. So give us a call and thanks for catching this.